Earlier this month, the LPGA Tour headed to the Kuala Lumpur Golf and Country Club for the fifth edition of the Syme Derby LPGA Malaysia. Stacey Lewis was one of the headline acts as the stars of ladies golf returned to the Far East for their second swing through Asia this year. Golfing World sat down with the current number one on the Rolex rankings to chat about the state of the LPGA Tour and discuss what's been another successful season. It's been a great year. It's, um, you know, I definitely would have liked to have won a major, um, but I was in contention at a lot of majors. Um, the worst I finished was 16th, so, you know, I take some pride in that, and I've given myself a lot of opportunities to win, and that's, that's the goal every week for me. You know, you're not going to win every time you're in contention, and the more times you're there, you know, the odds have to fall your way at some point. And Stacy is practicing what she preaches. In 24 starts, she's recorded three wins, five runner-up spots, and 16 top 10 finishes in total, whilst never missing a cut. Lewis isn't interested in trying to set herself for the majors or particular events. Her approach is simpler, compete hard every single week. Being ready on this Thursday of this month, I just, I just find it hard. And, um, you know, I talked to I've talked to Meg Mallon and Beth Daniel and a lot of other players about it and you know what they tell me is just you go try to play well every single week and if you do that you're going to be in contention a lot you're going to win enough tournaments and hopefully you know a couple of those are majors but if they're not they're still wins. That mindset helped Stacy return to the top of the Rolex rankings in the middle of this year and that's where she's stayed ever since. Having enjoyed a brief spell as number one in 2013, she was much better prepared this time around, making the experience of being the world's best player much less daunting. Uh, you know, number one this time, it's, it's definitely more comfortable, I can tell you that. You know, those four weeks last year were a whirlwind. Um, I was, you know, shifted from one media thing to the next. You know, it had been a long time since an American had been there. So, you know, understandably, it was a big deal. And, you know, now it's, now it's really cool that, you know, now I, I'm trying to keep it and I, I can control my own destiny. You know, if I play well, I'm going to keep being number one. If I don't play well, somebody's going to pass me. Being the world number one means you sometimes get to do special things. And that was certainly the case at the Syme Derby LPGA Malaysia this year, when Stacey was part of a group of golfers who met the Queen of Malaysia. The pair teed it up together in the tournament's pro-am at Kuala Lumpur Golf and Country Club. But it was the pre-event gala dinner that filled Lewis with trepidation, as she dined with Her Royal Highness. Just wanted to make sure I didn't mess up. You know, there's so many traditions and thing and rules you kind of have to stick to. I just I was more nervous that I was gonna, you know, offend her and do something wrong um, than anything. But um, but then on the golf course, you know, we had a blast. She's so laid back. Um, she's a great golfer. Uh, plays like three, four times a week, and she's traveled all over the world to play golf. I mean, she's played some great golf courses that I haven't even played before. Becoming one of the faces of the LPGA Tour also means Stacy has had to get used to being asked for her thoughts on a wide-ranging number of issues. It's a role she's grown into after admitting she was pretty shy when she first came out on tour. Now Stacy is more than happy to speak her mind. If you don't express opinions, you know, things don't change for better or for worse. You know, I think we can always improve as a tour. I think tournaments can always improve. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to let people know that. And, um, you know, I want, I want us be, to be playing for more money on bigger stages, bigger venues. And if you, you know, just go along and say everything is great, then, you know, how are we ever going to get there? So um, I'm all about just making the tour better. Stacy is a part of the LPGA's mentoring program, where a group of rookies are assigned to one current tour player and one retired veteran who helped them get used to life on tour. The Malaysian fans closely followed the fortunes of tour debutant Kelly Tan in 2014, and she was lucky enough to have Stacy as a big sister. Yeah, I remember being the rookie. I remember um, not knowing where to go, not really knowing anybody, and especially a lot of the girls now are coming, like Kelly, are coming from another country where they may not necessarily know any of the other girls. And, um, you know, we've been in Malaysia five and China is new and um, Shan Shan obviously winning the major and winning the tournament last year. I think, you know, we're gonna look five or six years from now and I think there's gonna be a lot of Chinese golfers. And But that's the goal, that's why we're here. You know, you look at, I think eight of the top 13 in the world are from different countries. You know, whenever we play a tournament in each of these Asian countries, it we're the biggest thing in town. You know, we're the biggest, thing that comes all year and that's why the fans come out to see us.
As this season draws to a close, Lewis still has plenty to aim for. She's currently number one in the race for the Rolex Player of the Year award, the official money list and lowest scoring average, accolades something Stacey knows all about, having won the Vare Trophy last year and been crowned Player of the Year in 2012. Beginning of the year, you don't start the year thinking, I'm going to win Player of the Year. It's just kind of see how the season evolves and hopefully you put yourself in position at the end and those are the kind of things when you look back on your career that you know you can add yourself to a pretty prestigious list and um, you know I just I just appreciate history so much and the history of this tour that you know I want to be on the list with Annika and Beth Daniel and Betsy King I, you know Nancy Lopez I want to be on the list with them and that that's what drives me at the end of the day.